everybody, welcome back to Fun Size VO. I am one of your hosts, PM Seymour. I am your other host, Austin Lee Matthews. And today we have a fun question that uh, got pulled up, and I think it would be a fun one to answer. So, Austin, go ahead and read the question. This question is from Poof Cloud on Tumblr. I adore your username. That is cute. Uh, I, have, I had a big smile as soon as I said Poof Cloud. I just want to say that a bunch of times now. Poof Cloud. I heard it in your voice, Poof too. Cloud. It was like, he's smiling. Um, so Poof Cloud asks, how do you guys usually get voice acting work? And I actually think this is an interesting question. Yeah. Because I think it's going to be a different answer for both of us. Yes. It changes yearly is the short answer. But yeah. I suppose if we want to talk about this year, we'll talk about this year. I get most of my work through bookings because I have a great relationship with studios as a utility actor. So for lots of video games and for anime, they will call me in for like to be the guy to voice like 15 different characters, all with a different kind of voice. But that's where I get most of my stuff from. I still do. I still get work through auditions, but most of my stuff, the stuff that pays my bills generally comes from bookings. That's how I got. Oh, gosh. Um, that's how I got Kake Gurui. They just said, hey, you want to come in and voice this guy? Sure, I'll voice this big guy. He's, he's a jerk. I can do that. That's how I got Monster Strike. That's how I got into, you know, the first three seasons of JoJo. That's how I did that. I have a good relationship with a lot of studios and they just know what they need me for. And that's where I get most of my work. I still, like I said, I get work through auditions, but um, that is how I generally get in most of the time. You will, you will learn that performance and reliability will be your two main tools to make sure you are always called back in. If you perform well and you get it done in a reasonable time and manner, they will like you. And also, just as important as that, I want to emphasize being friendly and professional go a long way, especially the friendly part, because directors want to hire people who they want to work with. They're not going to hire the, oh, hey, this guy is a good actor, but he's kind of a douchebag. They're not going to really want to work with you. you got to be friendly and welcoming and ready to do whatever they put in front of you and just be fun. Be yourself and absolutely be kind to everyone because not only is that good advice for working relationships, that's you just be a good person anyway. So, I mean, just... Just do what you would normally do if you're a good person. And if you're a dick, then don't be a dick. <laughs> yeah, don't be the, I'm in my, I'll be in my trailer diva. Because first off, for voice actors, God. we don't get trailers. So don't even pull that stunt. And second, it's, diva is last a very, very short time. Yeah, so Austin had the more traditional answer. Uh, my answer is, I, <laughs> I mainly just do what I do now. Just do a bunch of YouTube stuff. Like, just put myself out there and then just I'll get emails and they'll be like, hey, we, we watched you do this thing and we really liked how you did that. You Would you mind being able to do that for like a game or whatever we're working on? I'm like, sure, OK, I can totally do that. But you want it more sincere, right? Because like my videos are just me being goofy. You want a, a real read, right? And they're like, yeah, absolutely. And the, the second thing is before I was doing the YouTube stuff, like Austin, I just, you know, I stayed in touch with a lot of clients and everything like that. And a lot of the stuff that I've been booking lately, like the stuff I've been doing with Digital Continue for Next Up Heroes and Jumpstream, it's they mainly just called me back in. They're like, hey, we really liked what you did for us two years ago and you did it really well. So we want you to come back in. So that's why I always can't stress enough about performance performance and reliability because if you do something really well and you hand it in on time or even sooner than they expected they like you they will remember your name and i generally i pride myself on being super flexible with my schedule if a director says hey can you come in tomorrow and i'm like absolutely i'll be there i have a longer drive than most actors do because i am in the la county area but i'm a little bit further from Burbank than most people are, which is fine because I like the drive and I like to get through podcasts, but I make myself very flexible. I make myself as flexible as I possibly can because I like working. I like that directors want to work with me and you should just try to be as flexible as possible anyway if you want it, if you want this job, because this career is all about flexibility, especially if you're non-union. Yes. Non-union basically means there's a lot of things you can do and you probably should do 
because they will pay. Yeah, basically. Probably not as great as union, but they will pay. Yeah, and when, once you get, once you go union, you'll be able to book you know higher paying things. I I I like doing a fun analogy with the union though, so I'll, I'll try to jump into that. Like non-union stuff is great, and like getting into a union is awesome. But I like to think of joining the union as basically when you have finished a video game and you're given the option of new game plus. There you go. So you basically you start the whole thing over, but you keep all of your experience from the original game. So that's what it feels like. It's like sure you're gonna have to start from square one, but look at all the stuff you know now, and you get. Higher rewards for, you know, all of your accomplishments. Here's the difference. Booking a commercial non-union, eh, maybe 2000 bucks if it's, if it's national. Book a national union commercial? God. <laughs> like $10,000. I was about to say, that's a, that's a livable wage money. So remember, remember this, kids and adults, depending on who's listening right now. If you're li- watching a commercial and you hear a voice actor you know do that commercial and you're sitting there like, well, why would they do that? They're having so much fun in all the games and anime. Because there's a lot of money in commercials, so remember that. Yes, there is. <laughs> there is a lot Light of money Write that in one down. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Like, um, Union for video games, I believe, is eight hundred dollars an hour for a minimum of four hours now for video games mm-hmm. for union stuff. But compared to commercials, like damn, commercials pay a lot. You may think to yourself, "Man, I really don't want to do commercials because that just sounds like chumps work." It sure ain't freaking chumps work. I will do whatever commercials you put in front of me if you pay me that rate. And also to clarify, doing commercial work isn't easy, and that's another subject for another day. But don't like thinking, "All right, if there's so." much money and it sounds so simple i'm gonna join it no 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 it's not yeah, no seriously it's not like getting out of your head to do a conversational read is something that even like working professionals have a difficult time with yeah we'll we'll get into conversational reads and all that stuff in another com- in another video if y'all are interested in, t- in hearing about that but yeah no com- doing commercial work is not easy freaking trust me too long didn't listen version of our answers is uh we kept working our butts off and it just sort of you know we kept getting called back and we're nice to people and we're professional and we you know do the best to make people want to work with us yes so thank you guys for listening in to episode two if you have any questions you would like to have answered hit us up on twitter with the hashtag fun size vo and as always uh actors if you have anything you'd like to share about how you got into what you do and where you're getting your work let us know in the comments below yeah feel free to feel free to have nice conversations in the in the comments keep them nice ring that bell bing <laughs> and have a nice day yeah we'll see you guys all around bye (laughs) what was that (laughs) (laughs) let me try that again (laughs) (laughs) no i like that i want to end with that